guys, this is kal and today we're having a look at Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise, Ratchet. We'll just get him out of the way and we'll have a look at the packaging. Okay guys, here's the packaging for Ratchet. And as you can see, standard sort of bubble packaging with a bit of artwork up the top there. Pretty nice packs. Fair bit of wasted space up the top, unfortunately. Just on the side here, Autobot Ratchet, Deluxe Class, number six in the series. And on the back we've got some lovely pictures of Ratchet there. Just a little action shot with his blades and a picture of vehicle mode. Just a little read up up the top of Ratchet and it says Just because Autobot Ratchet chooses to avoid fighting doesn't mean he never learned how. His intimate knowledge of anatomy allows him to strike with surgical precision making a fight against him very painful losing proposition. And as I said there he comes with dual and just on this side here we have the technical data. Strength of 6 Intelligence of 9, Speed of 6, Endurance of 8, Rank of 8, Courage of 7, Fire Blast of 5, and Skill of 10. Alrighty, let's have a look at some of the details of Ratchet. You can see here is a nice white little ambulance. Um, yeah, there are blades sticking out the front of him. Let's just take those off for now. Okay, one, one thing I have a problem with straight up. He, he kind of looks a bit bland up the back here. I know on the animation model he's got a bit of a, like the heartbeat type decal on here. And this little grey bit here sort of breaks it up a bit too. But other than that he's alright. I wouldn't mind it a bit of paint on the rims. Uh, nice bit of grey on the front. Obviously again plenty of red and white. But that's about it for him. He rolls reasonably nicely. Nothing special. I'm not personally a big fan of the alt mode. Uh, as we'll see in a minute, the robot mode completely changes that opinion. And we'll have a quick look at a size comparison. Okay, there's Ratchet with Cliff Jumper from the same series. That being the Robots in Disguise, not the first edition. And you can see, they're roughly the same sort of size. Um, I'm sure an ambulance in real life would be slightly bigger than, you know, a muscle car. I was going to say a Camaro, but, yeah, you know, just a muscle car. A little bit taller. Same sort of width. And again, about the same. Alrighty, let's have a look at the transformation. Okay, first, guys, we'll just pop these panels down here on the side. Like so. Now, in the instructions, it says to separate this section from this section. What I like to do is just slightly split that front section. It makes it a little bit easier to pop that out. So do that on both sides. Just pop that out like that. Now, be very careful. This section here is painted translucent plastic and you can see there on mine, I'll just focus in there for you, there's already a little stress mark and that's because when the first time I transformed it, I pulled this way a little bit, a little bit, and it's put a bit of stress on that. Very careful, because there's a good chance these pieces could break off. So I'd hate for that to happen to you or me, so just be very careful with that. Okay, we'll just continue on. Come down here, rotate this foot section right down, and just separate the feet. Do that on both. Rotate that around, and separate the feet. Okay, now this section here can get a little bit sticky. What, what's actually in there is that little grey hinge. Just pop it off there and that will come all the way down. Now, this tab here will go into that hole there. So it just presses into there and you can see that's one leg. So same on the other side. Just pop that off there and swing it down and it just pops in there. So there you can see whoop, the legs are done. Okay with this top section just grab the arm, pull it out and then forward and that brings the shoulder, just rotate that down and you can see the hand in there. Now this whole section which was the back of the vehicle 
will fold over that will tab into there and this section here will tab into that little bit there so it just pops into there same on the other side pull it out bring the shoulder forward and just tab all that together so there we are now he has no head this section here just pull this down and boom there's your head just slot that back into there and then we have ratchet very cool robot mode very very cool robot mode okay we'll have a quick look at some of the paint apps and the details and then we'll check out the articulation and we might even throw in a size comparison there you guys very cool head sculpt there it's almost got a, a bit of an aggressive face going paint apps work just enough nice silver on there you can see nice reflection off the light and you could you can get him into this sort of sort of glancing sideways or whatever faux windows on the on the front here looks fine um, nice bit of silver here again it's just a lot of red and white being an ambulance some silver on the knees and the knees and again a couple of you know, I wouldn't have heard a few more paint apps on the on the legs just to break it up a bit the doors carry over and just a nice white flat backpack now I don't mind that backpack that's quite acceptable these days compared to some it's pretty good I think um, as for articulation we have a head rotation but it's kind of limited by this color is a little bit annoying but again I, I think there is some modifications you can do I'm not going to do that but feel free to look them up the only thing with the head is it presses up and down <laughs> um, but yeah we, we do have head rotation a little bit up a little bit down that's about it shoulders will go all the way over they're just on a ball joint there with a little slot in it so you can lift the arm straight out if you wish a bicep rotation double jointed elbow and we do have a wrist I, I suppose a, a tilt and that's just due to the, the transformation that will come into it in a minute anyway very nice that we have a waist joint which is nice to see as we miss out on them a lot ball jointed hip and that can go anywhere you want and a thought ooh. anyone know a medic let's just pretend we didn't see that double jointed knee though it's a bit useless um, because that the thigh hits that back part of the leg but it is double jointed as you can see there and with the foot we have a tilt uh, backwards and forwards but again that's due to the rotation more so now before we had these little blades stuck to the front of the vehicle mode it looked a bit silly now you can have ratchet hold these just like so so we can you can chop stuff up they're meant to be scalpels but you know what you can do to make them look a little more show accurate is push this hand in push that in and then it looks like the blades are coming out of his arm that's pretty cool you do lose the effect if you come around to the other side but it looks pretty cool so you can do that with with both hands so there you are there's a quick look at ratchet in his robot mode you can see the uh, scalpels there and we'll have a quick look at a size comparison we'll bring back clips so there you have ratchet with cliff jumper or the rock so you can see about roughly the same size clip jump is a little wider but again pretty much the same and height. just another quick comparison there he is with first edition bulkhead so you can see bulkhead is pretty good scale for the deluxe size figures um, nice and wide nice and bulky as his name says and quite a lot taller than ratchet that just gives it okay guys that was a video review of transformers prime rid ratchet 
Very, very cool figure. Definitely recommend this guy. Very awesome. Very poseable. Very cool figure. This one is probably the favourite I have in the line. Um, Wheeljack's pretty cool. Soundwave's pretty cool. But this guy in the R.I.D. line, definitely top notch. Definitely recommend picking him up. At the moment, I think you could probably only pick him up, besides online, obviously, at uh, Toy World or Toy Kingdom. I got this guy at Toy World, um, but I'm sure he'll be out soon at Toys R Us and Kmart and so on and so forth. Very good figure. If you see him, definitely grab him. Next time we'll see RC, and we'll have a look at the size comparisons again. But this guy, very, very cool. Definitely pick him up. Okay, guys, this is Kal-El. Follow me on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you on the boards.